Okay, hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you how we can use MeshCast with OBS Ninja to get larger rooms. Um, I'm going to first show you the existing way to do a large room in OBS Ninja. So we're just going to enter the room with guests can only see the director enabled. This is the broadcast mode. As you can see, we have broadcast added to the link here. And as we have guests join, I'm going to bring two guests in. Uh, the guests don't see each other. And when the director goes live, let's say showing the OBS output, the guests now see only the director's video. So if you're a director, you can share the output of OBS with all your guests. Everyone in the room can see each other because they exist in OBS. So they'll exist through the director's virtual camera feed. This has the advantage of the director taking all the CPU load and all the networking load and the guests not having to do additional CPU or encoding. They only have to share the video with the director and they don't have to share the video with the other guests. So it's a MCU style of a group room, not a mesh style, which is what uh, the default way is. Um, but this unfortunately does put a lot of load on the director. The browser is not a good server. <laughs> it's actually a very bad server. And while there is a WebP mode, which tries to turn the browser into a server, it can only work at currently very low quality or at very high latency. Neither of those are ideal for many users, especially professional users. So there's a solution and that is meshcast.io. Um, you don't have to use MeshCast. MeshCast is a free service I'm providing for OBS Ninja users um, to let them get more out of OBS Ninja if they don't have the capabilities of hosting themselves. Um, currently, the quality when you're a director defaults to 500 kilobits per second, and you can increase that to whatever you want by adding TRB equals a new bit rate. So in this case, 2,500. So that is 2,500 kilobits per second. And so as a director, when I'm sharing video, um, the video quality is going to be uh, 2,500 instead of 500. And so it looks really good now, right? But this, the higher the quality we go as a director, the more CPU. So you need like a eight to 12, 16 core computer to manage uh, moderate rooms at higher quality. So we're going to stop that. And what we're going to do instead is we are on the OBS Ninja beta version. Um, the beta version at the moment, 17.3 of beta, has a few fixes in place for this feature. It will work with older versions, but we're going to use the beta because uh, it's bug free. Uh, less bugs. And we're going to go to MeshCast, MeshCast.io. We can enter our own ID or we can hit randomize and it will give us a random ID. This is max number of viewers. So decide what the room size is. So how many guests are joining the room? The lower you set this value, the higher the quality. Um, because MeshCast is free, I try to um, I limit the amount of load a guest will use. And so the more viewers you have, the, lo the lower the quality. Uh, the max I let you use at the moment is 100. And uh, for most people, you, you might have 12. So let's say 12. We hit start. We can now take uh, this link here. If we open the link up, you, we'll see ourselves playing. But what we'll do is we'll take this link and... We should go back to the director's room. In the beta version, there's a, a button here called share a website. And we can paste the MeshCast view link into the director's room. Okay. Now when we go to a... 
when we go to a director, we see that when we go to a performer, we see that uh, we're seeing the output of MeshCast. So if I change the camera to virtual camera, we can see that it has changed. So the director is not sharing their camera. They're simply sharing a website. And so the output of MeshCast is being put into um, OBS Ninja as an iframe, as a third party website, which is why you have dots around the edge. I use the dots to let the guests know it's not OBS Ninja, it is a third party embedded iframe. Um, but the quality is very high and the CPU load is very low. It doesn't use up a whole lot of CPU power on the director because they're only uploading one stream uh, to the server and the server then distributes the videos to the guest. Um, this does have higher latency. So because we're going to a server and not direct peer to peer, there will be more latency. It might be 50 to 200, 300 milliseconds more. Um, that's the downsides of servers. There's also, uh, well, a, a cost, but I'm, I'm eating that cost uh, for MeshCast. I'm, I'm just putting limits on the max quality. Uh, if we change the camera here and we, and we wave our hand, we'll see the bit rate that guests are seeing. So it should go up to, in this case, around two megabits per second because we selected 12 viewers. If we selected five or 10, it would be even higher quality. And the guests see us at a pretty good quality, right? Um, and you can always go back to the director's room and stop it. And it goes back to just the regular preview. You can select the, you know, um, go back to the virtual camera if you're a director. You can switch between all these different inputs. Uh, the website will take priority. So in this case, I'm going to share a YouTube link. And the YouTube link now takes priority over the video. You can stop that. Um, now, this is a demonstration that you can use YouTube, you can use Twitch, you can embed any third party website that supports iframe embedding. And that essentially means you don't have to use MeshCast. If you want to use another broadcasting service out there, you can do that. There's dozens, there's hundreds out there. Most of them are paid. You can try to deploy your own. It, it's, it's more challenging to, to deploy your own broadcasting service, but you're welcome to. And OBS Ninja is, a, is a agnostic to which provider, but um, I'm, I'm trying to grow MeshCast, uh, so feel free to use it. Yeah. Uh, don't abuse it, but you're more than welcome to use it. I put limitations on the service already that I am comfortable with people using. Okay. Uh, so that is the concept of MeshCast with OBS Ninja. You can get large rooms, 30, 40, 50 people in a room potentially. You still can't do thousands in a room. Um, the audio is still sent peer-to-peer -peer through a mesh network, so there are still some limits. Um, but if you're up to around 30 people in a room, this is still a great solution. If you want to go beyond 30, 40 people, you will need to use the, I, uh, the iframe API of OBS Ninja to create your own custom solution where you pull people in to the OBS Ninja room on demand rather than have them all trying to shove into the, into the room at one time. You need to limit the room size and have like an audience that you pull in. And so you can use that. You can do that with the iframe API. Um, but that, I don't provide an option there at the moment. I'll have a solution there in, in maybe a year, but for now, I don't offer that. I also don't offer MeshCast as open source. Um, I don't really know where I'm taking this project, but there are some open source projects out there that you can use instead. Um, you can also just use Twitch and, and stream this way. And Twitch might have two or three seconds of latency. So depending on um, how important you need the audio and video to be in sync, uh, you could always consider using Twitch and you could do 4K or something. 
Okay, um, I'm stopping this. I'm rambling enough, but hope that makes sense, guys. Bye.